I started my marketing business, About 90 Marketing, live on Periscope. And within a matter of minutes, I received payments in my PayPal account. It was at that point that I realized the power of live streaming video, and I continued to produce content almost daily to grow my business. However, Periscope is not as popular as it used to be. And so now, IG Live is becoming the live streaming option for people looking to use live streaming to grow their business. I noticed recently that there was a change, that now they put a preview of your IGTV videos in your feed to drive traffic to IGTV. One of the entrepreneurs that I follow, Shalene Johnson, tends to stay on top of the marketing trends. And I noticed that her thumbnails were better than most people. So what we're going to do on today's video is we are going to reverse engineer her thumbnails to figure out how to create this same look within the Canva app. So if you are looking to make killer thumbnails for IGTV and to use this feature to grow your business on Instagram, I would encourage you to stick with me. If you have not joined my VIP vault, which is my epic resource library filled with video tutorials, cheat sheets, checklists, and even stock photos for free, go to LaShondaBrown.com or click on the link in the description. Without further ado, let's hop in. So before we start creating anything, we need to take a very close look at what Shalene's doing. It's clear that she is taking an image separate from the IGTV video to use for the thumbnail. So what I would encourage you to do is before you start recording, go ahead and snap a photo that you will use for your thumbnail. It's very similar to what people do on YouTube. However, you need to make sure that your camera is oriented vertically and not horizontally because that is how IGTV live thumbnails appear in the feed. She's also wearing the exact same outfit as the live video, so it seems like she's pulling it from the video, but she's really not. The other thing is that exact same image is being cropped to a square when it goes to her Instagram feed. So although you're going to create the thumbnail vertically, we need to remember to not put text in an area where it will be cropped off. So the first thing I thought in my mind was, what is the exact size of an IGTV Live thumbnail? And after a Google search, this is what I came up with. So the optimal size is 1080 by 1350 or 1080 by 1920. However, if you choose the larger option, the top banner of IGTV will cover up your image. So if we go back to that screenshot that I took, this is the area they're talking about. The time and perhaps some other information will cover up whatever you put in this top area if you do the larger version. So that's just something to keep in mind that you don't wanna put text up here because it will be covered. So now that we know the proper dimensions, we need to create our Canva template. So like it said in that article we found on Google, the dimensions we want to use are 1080 by 1920. And I got this pop-up to appear by clicking on custom dimensions. So let's go ahead and create a new design. And the first thing we want to do is rename the design IGTV thumbnail template. And so that way you know exactly what this um, layout is for. So the other thing that I want to do, and I do this a lot when I create graphics for Instagram vertically, is I want to drop in a square so that I can remind myself what is in the safe zone. So what we'll do on the side is click on elements. And because I use the square shape all the time, it shows up under recently used, but you can also find it under shapes. So we're going to add a square and the important thing to remember is to pull it by the corners to maintain that square shape. So we're going to click and drag this and you can also see on the side, you want the width and the height to stay the same. So we'll put that there and we'll drag it. And that looks like it's covering up the entire template. 
Now another thing you can do is click on position and stick it in the middle. And so this is showing us what the safe zones are for our template, just to give us an idea. It's not exact, but it certainly does help. So I'm also just gonna make that a little transparent just as a guide. So if we go, so if we look at what Shalene did, we'll go ahead and pull hers back up. She's got a photo of herself and some text oriented to the left. So when you do that, um, you see that the text is right in line with her eyes, and then she's got her phone in the picture itself. So what I'm going to do is actually pull an image that I had taken that's just a generic brand image for my business. But again, ideally, you would want to be wearing the exact same thing that you have in that IGTV clip. But for the sake of argument, we're just gonna go ahead and throw this in. Now, what's awesome to have in your business is just some generic photos so that when you run across a situation like this, you've got plenty of room on the right, on the left, on the top and bottom to put it wherever you want. So we want an image to fill the entire template, but we want to remember that what's being shown here is what will show up in our Instagram feed. So we're just gonna click and drag it until it covers up the entire template. And then we're going to position it backward until our square covers it up. So now I'm able to see okay, what is actually going to show up in my Instagram feed once this gets posted? So I'm going to slide myself over so that my head's in a good spot. And again, in the IGTV Live version, you will see my legs. And so now we can add our text. So you can utilize your brand fonts, but what I have seen in YouTube thumbnails and other thumbnails that are super small, it's really helpful to use a thicker font. So even if you use something super thin for your brand, you may want to consider using a thick font. And if we look at what Shalene's doing, you can see not only is she using a thicker font, but she's doing a slight drop shadow. So let's see if we can do that. So we're gonna use this font here, and we're gonna say how, and we'll put this in all caps. How to create killer thumbnails for IGTV videos. All right, so now that we have our square as a guide, we're going to, actually, we're just gonna click and drag it because that's one of the awesome things about Canva 2.0. So I want this text to appear above my hand. And I wanna go ahead and make this bold. All right, so we're just gonna move things around until it's showing up like we want it. Now, now that I have a guide for where everything is, I'm gonna go ahead and delete that square. Now, the last thing that she had was that drop shadow. And we'll do the drop shadow in a different color since I'm using black font. Um, so we're going to copy it and let's say we want that drop shadow to be green. And so what you're going to do is just move it backwards. And I find using the arrow keys on my keyboard is the easiest way to make slight adjustments. And so you can see, we'll move that up again, using the arrows on the keyboard. Now you've got a really simple drop shadow. And so this will help your white text to show up better on your backgrounds. And so there you go. You can just keep moving it and adjust it however you'd like. So there's just an example of how to do some drop shadows. So once you have everything done, all you need to do is click. I typically will use the PNG version, download this, and you can either email it to yourself or upload it to Dropbox and download it from your Dropbox app on your phone, which is what I typically do. This is an awesome technique to plan your content in advance, create those thumbnails and have them ready to go so that you can upload them quickly and on the go. 
So I hope this was useful to you. I think that IGTV is a great strategy for growing your Instagram account and bringing in some organic traffic to your feed. But I really believe that having those polished thumbnails is a great way to maintain the look of your feed while creating that video content. So if you found this video useful, I would encourage you to sign up for my VIP vault at LashondaBrown.com and subscribe to this channel because I teach you how to grow your biz without breaking the bank. So until next time, ta-ta for now.